Hey, Mike here with Mike's Bags, and today I'm reviewing The Prism by Logic Cornhole. For the last several months, I've spent a lot of time and a lot of money on bags trying to find that Viper R alternative. Um, uh, people have recommended, oh, this bag's identical, this bag is. I get them in, try them out, and they all just fall short. Well, I found two bags that are pretty close, and I got this one here, The Prism, and I got one coming out. I'll put a review up probably next week, maybe the week after that, for the other bag that I think is close. But we'll start here with the Prism today, and we'll start with the design of this bag. Logic has, I think, three designs right now of the Prism, three different designs. They're all pretty. They're all good. They're pretty simple. They're they're they're. they're um, there's nothing wrong with them. This one stood out to me. I just kind of like the glow effect, the triangle. I just it caught my eye a little better, so I picked it up. Again, they're not like wow, those are awesome bags. But there's nothing wrong with them. I don't have any issues with them. Uh, these bags are not ACL stamps, so if you're looking for an, if you're playing ACL tournaments and you're looking for an ACL alternative to the Viper R, this is not going to be an option for you. But for other tournaments, non ACL, this this um, this will work for that. Uh, material wise, the we'll start with the fast side here. This is that Viper fast side. Uh, a lot of bags have used it. A lot of companies are using it. It's a nine speed, crazy fast. It plays pretty much all conditions. It'll push through any anything on the board, clean up any congestion, collect any bags. Great material, super hole friendly. Now the slow side. This is where the the questions are. Right? Is this the same material as the R? And I, I, I got my I got my Widow R's here that I reviewed not too long ago, and I, I'm not happy to admit, but I've spent way more time than any one person should looking at these two materials, trying to determine if they're the same, right? I think sometimes my wife thinks I'm crazy because I'm up there with the lights on and I'm just got these materials and I'm just staring at them, just trying to figure out if they're identical or not. As far as the feel, these bags feel exactly the same. They have the same, that same texture, same feel to them. They're the same thickness to them, same playability, all of that, the feel. With my eyes closed, I'm saying they're the same material. Looking at them, they have a few differences, and I don't know if it's just because this color is different that's causing me to see things a little differently than this. It, it very well may be that. What I'm guessing, and this is 100% pure speculation on my part, I'm guessing that it's the same material, but maybe a different manufacturer, which gives it a few little subtle differences. Um, I don't think it's the same manufacturer, and maybe it is. You know, sometimes, like I said, when you when you change colors, it's, you're, you're changing a little bit of the fabric. The materials look a little different, but all in all, I mean, this this material is probably you know, 99% the same as this R carpet. It's the closest thing I have found to the R carpet any bag that I've had so far, especially not just with the looks, but the way it feels and even the way it plays. So I, I'm going to say it's. I'm gonna call it the same material. Just know that there, there are a few subtle differences if you start staring at it too long, right? Uh, Fill-wise, this uses that flat disc fill, so it gives the bag a great feel in the hand. It's the same fill that you get with Ultra pretty much. Uh, so you have that you have that nice hand feel, the, the soft material on the backside, this really loose material here, nice fill. I will say the template is maybe just a hair smaller than the, than the Viper R, not much. And I, I hesitate to say that because it's it's very minuscule, but I do think the back is not, it's got a lot of flop to it, not quite as floppy as the Viper R. So if you if you like the Viper R, you don't like the flop, and you just want a bag that's a little bit fuller, this Prism may be a good option. Again, we're, we're talking about minor differences here, but I, I do want to point out what I, I find is different, right? Um, I did mention the speed too. The speed on this this carpet side here is a four speed. Uh, Prism calls it a five nine. To me, it's more like a four. It starts out fast, starts almost like a six, and then as it starts to fuzz up, it slows down. And it's once it gets good and fuzzy, it, it's 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 about a four, maybe a four and a half. But I really think it's a four nine, which is really I think works well for this this bag, this material. Now playability on this. Um, this plays a lot like the Viper R. Honestly, I, I think where where. Where people have an issue with it or people struggle a little bit is you, you see the carpet and you think, okay, it's a carpet style bag. I'm playing that dirty game. I'm throwing blockers out there. I'm clogging up the hole. I'm putting a lot of congestion in front of the board and I'm rolling, I'm flopping, I'm cutting, I'm getting creative, I'm shaping shots. This can do that. It's just not great at that. And, and, and I think a lot of it is because it's it's a very soft landing bag. You've got this, you've got this flat disc fill in there. Uh, you've got this flop to it, so when you throw the bag, if you've got a little bit of tilt, you know, one side or the other, and you, you you typically have issues because you don't throw a flat bag, and you throw when you throw a slower bag, it wants to kick on you. This bag really does land very softly. It doesn't have a lot of kick to it, and it runs pretty straight up the board. 
that's good that it doesn't have the kick. The problem is without the kick, you're losing the cutability. So you can cut this bag a little bit left to right, right to left, but you're not getting those really harsh cuts that you would get with a stickier bag, a little bit more of that um, material that grabs. Right? Just Even though it's a slower material, it just doesn't grab as well as I'm used to four-speed materials grabbing, right? So you're not getting the cut. Um, you've got you've got this flat disc fill soft landing bag. It doesn't really bounce a lot, so I'm not... Uh, Roll shots are not a big, a, not not something this bag does well. And look again, people can roll Viper R's. People people can roll Game Changers. People people can roll. If you're a good roll bagger, you can roll any bag, right? If the average person, you're not rolling this bag. If you want to roll a bag, there are way better options than this or the Viper R to roll. It's not really what it does well. What does it do well? Well, to me, this is a bag for getting around other bags. This is a bag when your opponent throws a blocker up there in your way and instead of trying to roll over it or whatever you, you throw this bag and because it's pretty loose and floppy when it hits the bag it doesn't really want to collect the bag as much as it wants to fold up spin around and drop in or at least get on the other side and take whole control if it doesn't fall in so this is awesome for getting around other bags so this is where i recommend when you see an opponent who's throwing a sticky bag who plays a dirty style game who likes to put bags on the board and you don't want to be the one to collect it for them right you want to put your bags in the hole but make them do the work because a lot of times and I'll do it when I play the game. I'll throw my bag on my opponent's side of the board, whichever side it is, and throw it over and expect them to collect it for me or at least to push it up so that I can collect it. So I, I gamble on the fact that I, th I that I can throw it over there and they're going to have to move it to get their bag in the hole, which then allows me to later on collect it. But if you can find ways to get around that and leave that bag and now make them go after it, now they're either going to have to leave that bag and sacrifice it or they're going to have to go after it and there's a chance that they end up losing two bags, losing another bag and they have two bags over and you've got four points instead of two. So that's where I think this bag excels. Just like the Viper R, like it, it gets around bags great. It's it's extremely hole friendly for what it is. Like this, this material, it goes in the hole better than any four speed material that I think I've had. It's just, it wants, to, it, it's a forgiving bag in a sense, it wants to grab the hole. I think it's because of that flop, it comes by, it wants to grab that hole, it'll spin around and it just wants to melt right in. And even if it doesn't melt and it sits there, it's fairly easy to collect. Like you don't have to be aggressive. Typically on a carpet style bag, when it's hanging there, it, it takes a lot to drag that bag in. Like you really gotta be aggressive and go after it to try to bring it in. And the danger of that is you can end up going too aggressive or too far over and then you end up leaving two bags on the side instead of just leaving that one. But with this bag, and as and, and it's, 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 it's hole friendly and as much as it wants to just kind of drip in the hole, you can just throw a bag, come in, just, just clip it like you normally would. It's going to fall in. It, this bag just wants to go in the hole. And that's where I think, that's what makes the Viper R such a great bag, the Wood R. So why people want it is because it's a slower speed, very controllable, yet it's hole friendly. Like you're, usually you get, the, you get a controllable bag, you lose your hole friendliness. You get a really hole friendly bag, you lose your control. This one has the best of both worlds, which, which is why it's such a coveted bag. So all in all, I mean, it, as far as a Viper R replacement, I think this is as close as I have seen yet, probably the closest that you can get. I do recommend it. I mean, you put this and a Viper R in your hand, close your eyes, you're gonna have a hard time telling the difference the two right you, you if you were to strip the design the name off and just had basic material with 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 nothing else and went and through the two bags i don't think you could tell the difference right and so the other thing you're getting out of this is the price and availability right the viper r hard to get it's not available until ultra does releases they do releases they go crazy quick they're, they're they're a pain to do to get you're paying a pretty good chunk of money for them this bag is available right now at logic 49.99 for a set of four of them um I think it's like ten dollars shipping. So like with taxes and all, it's like six. It's like sixty one, sixty two dollars to your door, and you can buy two sets of these for the price of one Viper R. It's definitely worth at that price. It's worth getting a set if you like the Viper R, you like the Widow R, but you can't find a set. It's worth the sixty bucks investment here to see if this is a bag that's gonna work for you. Um, so yeah, I, I re highly recommend this Prism Biologic Cornhole. Great bag. It did surprise me, and it's the first bag again that I have found that really checks off all the boxes that the Viper R does. So go get yourself a set of these prisms. I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you have a set, if you tried them, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think of them, what you like about them, what you don't like. I always love to hear you guys' feedback. Thank you so much for your support, and I thank you guys for watching.